Thanks for watching this short demo video on the onboarding process for cloud monitoring for Catalyst. To begin the process, first go to documentation.meraki.com and click on the tile for cloud monitoring for Catalyst. Next, under getting started, select the cloud monitoring for Catalyst onboarding link. Here you will find an overview of the onboarding process, prerequisites, configurations, uh, which are pushed to the switch, and a link to download the onboarding app, which we will be going through next. Once you have the onboarding app downloaded and installed, the first action you must take is to enter your Meraki dashboard API key for the organization you wish to onboard to. Once the onboarding app successfully connects, you will be requested to select the organization for onboarding. The second step, step two, in this step, you must enter the IPv4 address and the port that can be used to est establish SSH into the switches you want to onboard. Step three. Step three is where you simply provide the SSH credentials that will be used to onboard the device. Privilege level 15 is required. Step four. Step four, the onboarding app then connects to the switches specified and you can start a pre-check where the switch config prerequisites are verified. If anything was to fail, a description would be included to help you correct the issue and you can always click on the onboarding checklist Step five. In step five, you select the dashboard network that the monitor only catalyst devices or device should be assigned to. Step six. Step six is where you confirm your configuration changes. Um, you can also select show details to review the configuration changes, which will be added to the switches. Then you simply select the switches you wish to apply the changes to and on the pop-up select save. Step seven. Step seven, the onboarding configuration will now be applied to the selected switches and you will see the details and status along the way. Once complete, you will see a status message letting you know it, it was connected successfully to your Meraki organization and network. Step eight, step eight. Now you can see the list of devices that have been successfully added to the Meraki dashboard. You can click the view hyperlink to review the cloud monitored switch in the Meraki dashboard directly, or you can choose to add more devices. If we hop over to the Meraki dashboard, we can now see our newly added Catalyst 9500 in this case, and we will see a new icon clearly showing it is in monitor only mode. You can hover over it and see a detailed message that no configura configuration changes can be made. If we click on the switch, we can see all the great detail on the Catalyst switch, like its LAN IP, public IP, Cisco and Meraki serial numbers, and its current, currently running firmware version. If we hover over any active ports, we can see port level configurations. And also from this, this device status page, we can also see the details of the connected client. If we click on view ports on this switch, we can see a status of all the ports on the switch and notice they are all as well tagged with monitor only. Going back to the device status page, we can go through the options at the top from summary, where you can get a summary of all the switch switch and its overall monitored status, ports where you can see the ports on the switch, location where you can see the topology view in the network or map, and the tools tab where you have access to various troubleshooting tools such as ping, the ability to cycle a port or ports, and view the current Mac forwarding table on the switch. So this concludes the quick overview of the cloud monitoring for Catalyst onboarding process. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.